And so Lloyd Gibson says, I thought Bob was against stereo imaging in live sound because of the psychoacoustics and delay slash magnitude discrepancies seat to seat. Does this not apply here or is there a size threshold where it can be successful? Okay, so stereo in live applications. Let's get into the semantics. There's a left main and a right main. You can call that stereo. I call that left right because stereo is something that happens when you put on headphones it happens when you sit there in your living room because you're inside of the the five milliseconds that you have to play with in the world of physics of your brain and its ability to make a panoramic stereo image there's very little of the room that is inside that five millisecond window in our world of of pa and you don't have to have, a, it doesn't have to be a big PA, it doesn't have to be an arena or a stadium. It's like even in a small theater, there's very little that fits inside that window. So everybody else can call it stereo all they want. But, you know, I, I design systems, left and right systems, and I design them to have no more overlap between left and right than they have overlapping into the walls. So that's my, my thing. It's basically... You're, you know, I don't want to invite the wall into the thing any more than the virtual wall, which is the, the correlation point of where the two speakers meet in the middle, which is a model and all physical acoustics uh, modeling as, as a wall. So that's my, where I aim systems. I don't aim your left and right deeply inward unless you can promise me that you're going to put left completely separate material than in the right, like if you've got left center and right, and they are now discrete and separate channels. Now I'm going to turn that thing inward. Now I'm going to cover the whole room with left and the whole room with right and the whole room with center and the whole room with left center and right center and 17, whatever they are. I'm back to the, I'm the whole show. So if I'm the whole show, fine. But if, but if we are left and right and 99% of the material outside of the littlest bits are going to be Put it this way, when all the really stuff that matters, the fader uh, with the big star on it, is going to be mixed center, I'm going to make your left and right system so that it does the best performance that it can as correlated signal. Okay, so that's my simple answer to that. I haven't changed on that. But if you go to a full multi-channel, as soon as you introduce to multi-channel, and that's what happens when you add that third one, that center, and start functioning center channel. Now, when you've gone to full multi-channel, if that's the way you want to address it, now we can go and play decorrelated. But a lot of times, what you really see in, a, in an LCR is you're going to do LR, are still going to be a very LR system. Very little gets panned out, but the center is its own thing. And so now you have a decorrelated center, but a semi-correlated left and right. But I don't tell people how to mix. <laughs> I mean, I don't. 